Your Amazon store literally lives and breathes with the ability of having people come and actually see your product on your listing. That is why it is so important to get your product to page number one as soon as you possibly can and at bare minimum within the first 30 days of you launching on Amazon. Today I'm gonna to show you exactly how I launched a product to Amazon's page number one for my top five keywords in less than three days. Number one, we wanna focus on relevancy. When you first enter Amazon, people don't know or Amazon doesn't know what exactly your product is. Now this is why we go and we do a big effort in finding the right keywords and doing our keyword research so that we can build a listing that caters to the search engine. Right? We want to have the most valuable keywords, meaning people are searching up those keywords on a day-to-day -day basis, meaning we can rank for those keywords, therefore get sales for those keywords. First and foremost, we need to make sure we have the most important terms in our listing. What we want to then do next is we want to identify an opportunity in those keywords that allows us to rank for them. Now, what I mean by this is most people will go and actually be like, hey, this is my main keyword. I'm gonna go ahead and launch for it. Why I don't like that is simple. If your top competitors are all ranking for that and taking all of the sales from it, it's gonna be hard and it's going to be expensive. Instead, what we teach our students to do is we actually teach them to find keywords that your competitors are not ranking for and is an easier way for you to get into that market. So you're able to take that market share where market share has not been taken. Sounds simple. Obviously, it's harder than it actually seems. We use tools to be able to do this like Helium 10, Astro Pro, or Data Dive to be able to do that and find that type of data. Now, the other thing we look at is we look for keywords that actually have high conversions rates. Now, why do we do that? Because another core component in ranking is the ability to convert. If you want to actually have your keyword ranked and stay in rank, you need to convert for that when you're organically ranked, right? So let's say you're number one, you've done all of this work, spent all of this money getting to page one. Now you wanna make sure that your organic rank speaks more than your actual advertising spend. So you're spending to get rank, but when you get organically ranked, the idea is that you're sticking there, okay? You're sticking there and that's what you want it to be. That's how you gain profitability and that's how you can rank quicker. So by identifying keywords that are converting at a high level, you have that opportunity to do that. Now the tool that we use is called Sellerize. Sellerize allows us to identify those top keywords and we use Data Dive to be able to identify which keywords are the ones that we can capitalize on and will be the easiest for us to enter. Enter. When we do this, we go, we pick out our main keywords and this is exactly what we do when we set up our campaign. So the first thing we wanna do is we we want to first isolate those groups of keywords. Now, I like to go for a minimum of three. It depends on if I'm working with a student, for instance, that has a lower budget. I might start off with three to five uh, main keywords. Now, for me, I'm much more aggressive. I go for everything that I possibly can at the very beginning. Now, the campaigns that you want to actually set up are these ones right here. So number one, we're actually going to be setting up what we call an exact match manual targeting campaign. So exact match. Um, exact and then manual. Okay, so exact manual. What we're doing with these keywords is we're going ahead and actually putting one keyword per campaign and associating its own budget to it. Now, in the past, we've taught, hey, put three to five keywords, put three keywords, or base it off of a total search volume amount. I've recently tested that if we put one keyword and its own separate budget, it gives us the ability to scale that if things are going well. So what I'll do is I'll put, let's say I have five keywords in here. I'm gonna go here, so five, five keywords. So these go into one, one keyword per campaign and then I'm associating its own separate budget. Separate budget. Now the key to this ranking method is that when you separate that budget, you want it to be aggressive. You want to nine times out of 10 be in position to be able to take that purchase from anybody else that's advertising for it. So when I'm setting up these keywords, you wanna base it off of your budget. If you're listening to this and you're a beginner and you only have a small budget to work with, do what you're comfortable with. But if you really wanna hack this, I put 200, 300, $400 budgets with the idea that I'm not running out of budget on those keywords. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to influence purchases, which means we play with sales velocity, which is part of Amazon's ranking algorithm. So sales velocity, the more we get sales, that means we're 
competing, uh, competing with the people who are actually advertised and organically ranked for that actual product. All right, so let's say my keyword is garlic press. If the number one position is doing 10 sales, my goal is to get to 10 sales minimum. Ideally, I wanna get more than that if you wanna overtake that actual rank, right? So if you wanna get in first position, you need to be at par with that person. Now, when we're looking at the conversion rate of the keyword, when we're looking at an easier way to enter the market, that's all based off of, hey, how do we hedge our bets the most and be as profitable as we can in that actual, um, that hedge. Okay, so super, super important. This campaign right here is the power to this, right? This pushes up our keywords and our ranks so that we can rank those keywords to page one as soon as we possibly can. Now, the reason why we put separate budgets and higher budgets is again, we want to win that sale as many times as we possibly can, influencing the amount of purchases we get, therefore, sales velocities increase, we match with our top competitor, and therefore we get that rank. This is how we did this for over five keywords, all over 5,000 in search volume in under three days. The other campaign that we actually wanna set up is a product targeting rank. This is what I call it in our program. A product targeting rank campaign is a way to help influence your ability to get indexed for multiple keywords at a time. Um, an indexing campaign is really what it comes down to. Now, many times than not, the product targeting rank campaign doesn't perform very well. If it doesn't perform very well, as soon as you see that your, your index for the majority of your main keywords, cut that campaign or cut any targets that are in fact working. It just means that you cannot steal that traffic from your competitors. But the idea of how this product targeting rank, uh, this product targeting rank campaign actually works is, I'll give you an example. Let's say you are going after three keywords, garlic press, garlic press stainless steel, and garlic press stainless. If you're going after, let's say your top 10 competitors, this is what you wanna do. You wanna find your top 15 competitors based off of sales velocity, sales as a whole. You can then get the ability to steal their traffic. So if somebody were to search up any one of those keywords that aren't the ones that we're actually going for in these manual targeting campaigns, we can get indexing power from it. So again, let's say somebody searches up garlic press stainless steel three pack and then they see your product target actually on that listing and then they see it or maybe they click it. It means that you have the ability to get indexed for that because you're now deeming yourself as relevant for the keyword that that's Amazon that uh, that Amazon customer actually searched up for. So what this does is it allows you to target keywords that you haven't even put emphasis on through an exact match campaign by using your competitors. And the reason why we use our top competitors is because they're getting all the traffic. They're getting people coming to their listing. They're targeting a bunch more keywords. They're ranked for a bunch more keywords. So regardless of what an Amazon customer searches up, we could have the ability to get indexed for that by using this product targeting rank campaign. When you are ranking, you are wanting to gain relevancy, right? you do that through indexation and you also do that by targeting your main keywords now the higher we push the more we spend to get that up and running the sooner we can actually get organic purchases the sooner we get organic purchases means that we make profit sooner we become an actual competitor in the amazon space and you will start to see those sales go up Guys, this is how you rank or how we ranked our products to page one within three days. If you wanna learn more about how to sell on Amazon, click this video right here. And this is exactly how we teach beginners to sell on Amazon 